howdy guys welcome back to cruiser man's inventions and uh, at the end of this video i won't say subscribe to cruiser man's inventions i subscribe to tristan mcnab it's actually my name you you got to subscribe to to see these videos i had it a little bit backwards cruiser man is is the my program guys so what i'm going to do today is actually just look over three alternator bikes guys so um so this is the first one and uh, this is the alternator carcass bike which is a 55 amp alternator in here i'm just sort of brushing over stuff um it's got a thousand watt controller 72 volts it's 48 volts but i've ramped it up to its max and uh two little batteries to run the mag two 12 volt batteries ramp that up to 24 volts so uh, yeah guys i'm just doing a quick little update on these bikes what it is is three alternator bikes this is the electric cockroach bike that's got front suspension on it now that works really well same deal again but this is a hundred amp alternator and a smaller back wheel and that's what the gearing looks like there and um 72 volts and uh, 24 volts to the center mag so on a separate switch and then we go to my bigger one which is 3000 watts and uh and that's only running up i think a 90 amp alternator and uh 72 volts 3000 watts uh the speeds of them this one's max 70 this one is about uh, 60 i think and this one here's only just gets up to 50 so yeah guys interesting stuff so i think i have the most alternator bikes on youtube this ain't all i've got i got a my bat trike and uh remember i built the trailer here and that housed uh 72 volts times two inside it and i, I could plug it i could plug this here up to to any one of these bikes now because I basically made all hitches for these and then that was the other one here and uh, and then uh, one goes on there which is this one I just take it off there and put it on there and uh, so yeah little update guys what what have I been up to well I'll show you something this is a 11 inch wheel of a pram and uh, you see the center of this you'll notice it's out of a push bike the center of the back wheel and i nut and bolted it right the way through three times to the other side here i got the tool that takes these off you, you got to take the axle out put the put this little nut thing that uh in your vice tip this wheel upside down and there's like little slots things in there it fits into and you can wind it off the whole thing so yeah i wound this big sprocket on there ready for another bike i've also got another uh controller coming guys exactly like this 800 watts 48 volts and um you might my you won't be able to see that probably but it's exactly like that so uh let's go and have an, a look at uh another back wheel like this that i've been trying to build for another project guys so uh see the sprocket on this one i mean that's pretty big for the wheel i'm building another one of these type of wheels let's go and have a look it's the same size it's like uh here it is here but the thing the sprocket i've got on here is humongous let's come off a 70 cc bike this this wheel and it i did have a sprocket on there but i just as time went on i built this was the only thing that was left basically out of the bike so i've got four bolting positions here and i got a ring here and i had to try and find a sprocket that fitted on over here perfectly so i could get it centered up really well so what i done guys is i found this full well it was a three-wheeler or a four-wheeler back in there's the axle and everything and 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 i found this disc and I just spent quite a lot of time taking that off. Uh, this this piece here, because as you'll see, there's a spline at that end. There's also splines here that this 
disc brake fits on and then what was here was this piece with the bearings and then out the other side was the the sprocket here now that's a 23 odd two sprocket and that's the one there i need for the bat bike on the freewheel side how's explaining guys yeah i tried to build one and i stuck it on there which is this one here and um i i had some bad results guys i tried to shift in the motor the motor sprocket and um some bad stuff happened and i had to re-straighten the whole thing out so that other sprocket didn't end up getting put on the the bat bike so anyways getting back to this i found this big sprocket here and i managed to bolt it to the disc see like that this is a huge sprocket it's got a lot of teeth see and that fitted on the ring there perfect now wow another e-bike just went past cool yeah so i just got to do out the holes and then bolt that down so you're probably thinking oh that's probably too big a sprocket for the wheel it is it's going to be quite low geared for the alternator which is going to be running this but i also have this this sprocket here which is pretty darn big compared to all the other sprockets i have on the alternators let's just go and have a a quick match on see one of these other ones okay here's one on the electric carcass and that's how big that is and this is how big that is so you can see that there's a there's a big difference so um so i think it'll be the same gear really by the time this goes on the motor give the motor more legs basically this here so Ah, uh, yeah, guys, so, um, so that's a little update on what I've been up to. Building wheels, trying to fix the controller, didn't work out, trying to build other stuff, trying to get the Green Goblin going. I still don't know what to do with that. I'm thinking of just chopping the front end off, bringing one wheel straight to the middle, and then making it into a trike, guys, and then put the face back on the front <laughs> and have a steering wheel on it or something. I don't really like putting money into something that is just of no benefit to me. I'd rather put in just, I don't know, electric stuff at the moment seems to be pretty cool. So, so yeah, guys, uh, I want to build another electric bike. And uh, so this is the beginning stages of it. Controller and another hand throttle is on its way as well. So they're ordered up and the hand throttle is just another red one. See, they come in different colors like red. It's a blue one. Now I got a silver one, and here's a like a goldy goldy one, and they've all got um, key switches, keys and meters. The whole lot of them are all like this, guys. So way better. It's really cool. Awesome stuff, guys. Uh, let's try and go over here and get a little shot over here, guys. Yeah, I can. Ramp this 3000 watt controller right up to uh, 100 volts. See, there's that freewheel one that I was talking about. This is the bat bike here, the bigger bat bike. And uh, what had happened, guys, is when I went to change this one out for that other sprocket I showed you, of course, it wasn't freewheel, but I had to push this in and um, I took too much meat off the shaft and it was all wobbly. But it's all centered up now and it's back on so I can have another go at this. So what I gotta do is take all the teeth off this and try and take the sprocket off here off the full wheel of motorbike. One here. I know it looks fat. And this chain here is probably I don't know, five seventeen or something, it's quite wide. But um as a matter of fact, I got some four twenty pitch chain right here. Let's put it on. Let's see if the 420, see look, it fits, it fits perfect, see, and that's 420 pitch chain, and you can see it just fits on there perfectly, so that's the sprocket I'll be trying to fit onto the bat bike guys, on the freewheel part, and then that thing will just take off like real fast, and when I hit third gear, whoo, should be over 70 k's easily, so yeah, <laughs> Awesome stuff, guys. I'll keep you updated on uh, on this build.
cool, cool. Yeah, I'm trying to get another electric bike going. I'm going to make beginning stages at this point. I'm going to try and call it the Banton. Uh, could be orange with black space specs all over it or something. So, all the other way around. <laughs> cool, cool, guys. See you in the next video. Cruiser Man out.